Hello dear friends, today I wanted to show you the extended Al Sapua section from Almoraima by Paco de Lucia. First let me demonstrate it at 190 BPM on the metronome. Alright, so that was at 190 BPM. When Paco plays it, he plays it at an incredible 245 or so BPM. So a lot faster than this. Now let me set my metronome at 80 BPM and play it for you while counting. First thing you need to know is that it starts on 10. So we have to count some beats before that and I'm going to start at 6. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Alright, now let me give you a super slow version of this uh, where you see everything that I'm doing exactly. I'm not going to be counting for this one, so you just watch my fingers. All right, now let me give you the detailed explanation of everything that I'm doing. First of all, the technique itself, al sapua, is performed by the thumb of the right hand, and it has three components. The first component is single bass note. It can be on any string, uh, but it's it's important to have. to have the ability to play any string on demand what with the thumb when you play that single note it is performed in, in a technique called pulgar so which in flamenco is kind of like this from the air you land on the string from the air so not being prepared on the string beforehand like this and you land firmly afterwards on the next string in this case, I played the 5th string and I landed on the 4th string. And then there are two strums, one down and one up. Uh, every time you do this, you have to strum from the string on which you landed. Not the string on which you played, but the string on which you landed. Alright, so sometimes this technique also features 
a golpe on the down strum. In this case, it is the ring finger that is doing it. At the same time as you strum down, the ring finger is golping. This kind of thing. Okay, now let's learn this. First thing that you need to know is that uh, this entire section is based on this chord here with the third finger on the third fret of the third string and the fourth finger on the third fret of the second string. So they don't move. It's these fingers that are moving to play the melody. All right? So it starts with two strums, one down and one up with the thumb from the fourth string down. Okay, so the first strum, the down strum is with the golpe. Now, let's play full al sapuo from the fourth fret of the fifth string without golpe. You see, I'm playing that fret with the second finger. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Now, let's play the full al sapuo from, from the uh, first fret of the fifth string, first finger, with the golpe. Now, full al sapuo from third fret of the fifth string, without the golpe, second finger. Now, full al sapuo from first fret of the sixth string without the golpe. Now full as apuo from third fret of the sixth string with the golpe on the down strum. Second finger. Then first finger, first fret, fifth string, full as apuo without the golpe. Full as apuo from the fourth fret of the fifth string, second finger without the golpe. And then a pull off from the first finger, first fret, fifth string to the open fifth string. Okay. So, you notice that I'm reaching over with my middle finger to play this melody. Well, there, th there are many advantages to this, and one advantage is that you can play any note that you want chromatically with these fingers without doing any any funny things if you play it this way which is which maybe is more logical for this run you won't have the ability to play this uh, C natural here so we are doing it in this way and with the capo it becomes a lot easier now my trick to reaching over like this is the elbow if you move the elbow up, then the finger wants to turn here. So you can play, you can reach anywhere. All right, so do it this way, please. Uh, I know it feels uncomfortable at the beginning, but as you practice, it becomes a lot better. So this is what we learned so far. 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, five six so we ended on six so now we have to change the chord to this um, so this six was uh, pull off with the index finger we're changing the chord to a7 where the first finger is on the second fret of the fourth string and second finger on the second fret of the second string and this is what we play play after this so that's right on the beat we are playing up with index finger down with index finger with the golpe with the ring finger then up with the index finger again down with ring finger with golpe up with the index finger and down and up also with the index finger so all together it's up down up down up down up that's it so two of the strums are with golpe the others are without now this whole thing whole sapur repeats for the second time exactly the same because that was six seven eight 
9, and then 10 is our second al sapo. It repeats exactly the same. And this whole thing repeats also exactly the same until beat, um, beat, um, what is it, nine. And then this portion of Al Sapuo repeats again until beat six. Remember, beat six was our pull-off where we don't proceed to to the to the strumming but rather we have this thing which I'm going to show you now so you have pull off on the beat 6 on the third time that you played al sapua at the end of the al sapua third time so now you place this chord down which is an a major now we're playing it this way middle uh, so second finger is on the second fret of the second string and the first finger covers uh, fourth string and third on the second fret uh, like this across the fret so covering both strings and sideways right so you had that pull off that's your beat six now you have third string um played by index finger and then you have a hammer on with the pinky on the fourth fret of the fifth string so and then the thumb from the the thumb slides to the fourth string and plays it now next section is going to be this a uh, series of legatos so first one is going to be this so third finger and second on third and uh, second frets of the third string you pluck the first note with golpe with the thumb and then do pull-offs to the second fret and um, and open string so like three two zero now fourth string thumb, uh, third finger in the left hand, that's third fret of the fourth string, and then I'll give you um, the frets and uh, fingers. So two zero on the third string, three two zero on the fourth string, three. 1 0 on the fifth string and then 4 on the sixth string so notice each fret corresponds to one finger so this is what we learned now this one is with the golpin and the last one is also with the golpin so notice this Thumb, thumb. All right. So once we reach this this note, we place the index finger on on the first fret of the fifth string and play six, five, four. Four is open. Now put the second finger on the second fret of the fourth string and play four and three all with the thumb in the right hand all this is with the thumb so the strings are six five four four three now put the third finger on the third fret of the fourth string play that with the thumb and then pull off to the second finger which is on the second fret of the fourth string now pluck this note again and then pull off to the open fourth string so thumb pull off thumb pull off three two two zero right 
So this is what we learn. Now look, fifth string. Four, three, one, zero. So. Right, so the pinky um, is on the fourth fret of the fifth string, pulls off to the third finger, which is on the third fret of the fifth string, and then index finger, so first finger pulls off from the first fret of the fifth string to the open fifth string. And then you have this chord, the A7. We already had it when we played Al Sapua, uh, it connected the Al Sapua. So, uh, second finger, second fret, second string, first finger, second fret, fourth string. You play just the up strum with the index finger, and now, look, we have Abanico Rasgiado that Paco liked. He liked this variation where the ring finger plays down, down strum, index finger plays down strum, and then thumb plays up strum. So we repeat this three times. One, two, three. All right. So that's pretty much it. Notice that all this, sorry, All this section is played with the thumb and the hammer-ons or pull-offs in the left hand. So there are no other fingers um, that you should worry about. For the exception of this rasgiado and then abanico rasgiado at the end. Alright, there is one detail that I wanted you to, to notice. If you listen to the recording really carefully, It sounds like after the F that Paco is playing two, two Ds instead of F, E and D. I play F, E and D because I heard in other recordings and other falsettos of his that this is, this is the pattern that he pretty much uses quite often. So the only a reasonable way for me to play two Ds would be to play one with a pull off of the left hand and the other with the with the thumb up attack, which doesn't sound bad if you play it this way. But I'm not sure if Paco really played it that way or it was just some recording glitch or something like this. One other variation that I don't think is is uh, is even possible is that he hammered on with the pinky one of the Ds. It's not worth it, to be honest with you. I think it sounds better with the way that I just taught you. Where there is just an E. Alright, I hope that this confusion confusion at the end is, uh, is not too annoying to you. <laughs> but I just wanted to throw it out so that out there so that you see what I dealt with when I learned it and why I made this choice. I made choices like these quite often in the past where something is not clear, something uh, could be this or that and I have to make a choice, I have to decide. A lot of times in the recordings you don't hear clear playing, clean playing, so you have to guess what was intended. Alright friends, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. 
and uh, please come back for more please put a like and subscribe if you think it's worth it thank you